Welcome back, friends. It is a rainy day here in our Minecraft world, and I have spent some time fishing in search of a name tag. I know I could just trade for one with a villager, but we're not quite there yet. But I have to fix our iron farm, and that means making sure the zombie doesn't despawn. I think the boat kind of messes with the spawning. I'll show you guys what I mean here in a second. Let's get to it. Some noteworthy stuff we got was actually getting luck of the C2, and we were on this fishing rod i also got another saddle this name tag and a power three on breaking which was pretty cool so what exactly is the problem here well it's that sometimes these guys get broken and they do not sleep so i had to take this guy out of the boat so they could sleep so another solution i have that i worked on in creative is placing some some slabs up top here Oh my god, that guy almost just got himself killed. Top slabs there. And then we're actually going to make a system where this zombie gets dropped every night for just about 30 ticks or so. And uh, they're able to sleep for just a second before he pops back up. So we're going to name tag him. And good old George. We play marbles. So in creative mode, I came up with this little solution. And I'll show it off real quick. But uh, this daylight sensor, as soon as it turns nighttime, this piston retracts for a little bit, and these guys are able to sleep. And then quickly it pops back up after this uh, inversion happens and the piston is powered again. I came out here looking for blue ice to improve our, our golem farm to make them move a little faster, get killed a little faster. And I swear I remember seeing some out here, but there's none. Yeah, there's this little uh, crack going through the wall here, and there's a zombie spawner. So I'm going to take this iron horse armor for Stevenson, and, and uh, this disc too. There it is. I see some. Depending on how much we get, maybe we can even turn it into blue eyes. Bro, what the heck? When did you get turned into a zo- Come on. We spent entirely way too long getting this packed ice, but the farm is still running after a day, so that is a good sign. We're cooking on iron here, slow and steady, but it works. And we're going to take the time to replace this uh, stone up there with some packed ice. Now, they move a little faster. It is safe to say our iron farm is working pretty well. And also, I don't know if you guys can hear, but this is a new mic and it's not perfect right now. Uh, I actually have to get a new audio interface or some sort of preamp for this because it is a little quiet compared to my old mic. It just doesn't have as much gain and uh, we'll fix that soon. But for now, I'm just adding a little gain through OBS. So with this guy turning into a zombie here, I have uh, plans to kind of renovate this area and uh, get a whole new set of librarians. But first, we need an actual library. So uh, I've been doing some planning in creative mode, and uh, we just got to gather some blocks, and uh, we're going to have ourselves a new building here in our complex. So we're going to need some red stained glass, and luckily... Our iron farm produces poppies, so I don't have to go and get the dye. Now we just need to go find some clay for bricks, and we're going to grab some acacia wood too. You know, I was thinking about it. Endgame Minecraft is crazy, but I've been really appreciating just taking it slow and doing everything at a pace. Something about getting an elytra and just flying everywhere and easy access to resources instantly is it's nice but i think this makes me just appreciate the game a little bit more and the last piece of the puzzle here is getting some clay i think there's a lush biome right up in here so we can steal all the clay from here i do have another shovel on me too so i don't break that i would hope this is enough clay we're gonna go for it. And to get this all going, I'm actually gonna 
break these guys and replace them for now just to get all this clay work in. Sorry, mister. Just before this time lapse, to clarify things, I am using Schematica. I did build this in creative, but I just wanted to plan it out. I wanted something really perfect right here, and uh, I think it will make for a cool time lapse too, so we're going to get to it. Hopefully our bricks are smelting from here while we're building. My god, I hope so. And the last thing we got to do here is place in some bookshelves. I think with that, we have a finished library here. Now, obviously, we have to get villagers and put them in here and get our trades and whatnot. But I think for the most part, this is looking pretty beautiful. I might take out one or two of these uh, trees just to kind of showcase this more. It stands out a little bit in the world, but I think that's a good thing. Kind of including some other palettes. And with that, you guys, I think that's where we're going to end the episode today. I know it was a little build heavy, but I kind of like doing this stuff. Let me know how you guys like it. Um, next episode, I think I have some farms in mind. And if you guys can guess them, uh, take a guess down in the comments too. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.